Welcome back to another In the Kitchen with a friend of mine. Today we have Kylie Hallback. It's actually kind of crazy to say. Formerly known as Kylie Ross. Fun fact, Kylie and I are actually from the same hometown. Kylie is the nicest, coolest girl. She's an entrepreneur. She's an influencer. She's a runner. She's a marathon girl. She's an athlete. She is incredible. I love her. So today I'm inviting her onto the show and we are making honor bar salads. We both have a very an emotional connection to honor bar salads I would say at this point we are recreating the matcha salad and the kale chicken salad that I always get as well as the honor bar croutons if you know you know hi guys welcome back to my cooking series we have a special guest today Kylie Ross oh my god I'm married now. wait not anymore I know okay sorry we actually have a different <laughs> special <laughs> guest no longer call it Kylie Ross Kylie Hallback that is actually like I know. I'm You've not even used to it yet. You've been married for a year now. I haven't officially changed my name. Little backstory, we actually grew up in the same hometown. We went to different high schools. She was a year above me. You would know this feels like the podcast like three years ago, but I get your press all the time for you. And I'm like, Water. do you listen? So you have to come back on to that as well. Okay, first off, we should start with cute little aprons. And I brought us aprons. Uh, yes. Here we go. <gasps> so cute. This oh, my God. Yes. Dude, you have everything. This is a... um. Kit Keenan original from Cynthia Rowley. And this is a uh, Dear Media merch original. Love. From myself. Iconic. And we're gonna do a little drink moment before we get into what we're making today. Have you tried the new flavors of Olipop? No, I'm like such an Olipop girl. It's crazy. It's insane. Okay, like, like watermelon lime is like. Have you tried that one? No. Is it good? So good. And I don't normally like watermelon things. Yeah. Like I like watermelon, but it's like not. Yeah, it's so good. I feel like so girly. And like a little hot water on this. Whoa. Lollipop root here, guys. It's the best. It really is the best. It's so good. It's so important when you find your root beer people because they're so rare. I feel like it's us southern girlies. Yeah. Speaking of, I've been trying to perfect a healthier version of sweet tea, and it's actually really good the last one that I made. Okay, what do you sweeten it with? Um, agave. Okay. Else. But it's like, I forgot actually how I made it, but it was good. <laughs> yeah, I, I made it, and I was like out in the, I was literally like out with my pitcher, and my overalls, and my garden, with my sweet tea, and I'm like, I'm literally my mother. Like, yeah. I'm actually my mother. Isn't it scary, like how every yes. day you realize? You get more and more like your mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every day. I'm like, I am my mom. Yeah, literally. The best. Today, what are we making? We're making our two favorite salads from this local restaurant called Honor Bar. You probably see it on Kinsey's stuff. A it's lot. like my favorite place ever. It's, it is so good. It's it's now officially my number two favorite restaurant in Dallas. I saw one shot of Hudson House. Oh, yeah. It's really good. And they're nicer there. But it's they're fine. Nicer there. They're way nicer there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honor Bar, I'm like. I feel like an inconvenience. Completely. No, like I'm, like, I'm so sorry to bother you. Yeah. Can I eat at your restaurant? <laughs> so then we're like, no. I, I know. Yeah. Every time. It's really crazy. What we're is... both making our favorite salad, so this is yours. This is so this is your journal, by the way. Ooh, I have to fill it up. I'm making the Honor Bar Macho Salad. The croutons from Honor Bar are unbelievable. Unreal. The cornbread's in the oven right now. It's going to be absolutely incredible. I'm making the kale chicken salad with the peanut vinaigrette. It is so good. Both these salads are amazing, so doing the Lord's work today. We That's really are. Doing. Okay, we have to um, chop things up a lot too. Okay, I love chopping. That's my favorite part of cooking. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's really good to know. We're like, I don't have a good time. Do you not like that? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I don't like dying for it, but. Oh, that's the cornbread. Oh. No, like this has gonna be something. Yeah, how did you find this recipe? Just Googled it. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Well, I knew someone you sent me the ingredients yesterday, so that would be easy, but yeah. No, but it's not the same. They don't want to give her the secret sauce. I'm going to need you to come with me and help me shop for kitchen things. Oh, yes, please. Because you find the cutest stuff. It's like the vintage stuff. stuff. A lot of it's thrifted. Vintage. This is like, oh, I love that. Okay, should I do this like thin? Yes. Finely chopped is a huge honor bar staple from what I've read. Okay. Which okay. I agree on the other one, but I'm just going to start putting in the salad ingredients so we have corn we're gonna toss this because this is not gonna be big enough I'm already... okay but yeah, again it's what it is it is you gotta it work is. with what you have it's not gonna be perfect no it's it's not. a remake for a reason yes yes so yeah. how is being like a marathon runner oh um you know i'm actually getting back into my winning that's like era. crazy to me so i actually love it now but <laughs> i was hating it after i ran the dallas marathon that was traumatizing 
I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I was like, I'm never running another race again. That's what everyone says. And then but I, again. I did take off like six weeks before. Like did not run at all, and then I just ran it. So it's a little bit on me, I will say. But oh, you just, you just kind of did it. Yeah. Well, I trained all year long. Okay. Because we did like three other races. Yeah. And I was like, I'm so tired. I don't want to run anymore. I couldn't get myself to train. And so then, then you like, by the time the race was, I was like, oh, I haven't ran in over a month. But we're ripping it. And we did. And I almost died. So, so I have never, so I like. But you're stepping into your running era. So No, I am stepping into my running era. But if Are I we going to go, Taylor? <laughs> okay. You're the last person in the world that I would run with. No offense. Um, I will not be running with you. I will not be working out with you. Well, I will not be. Sometimes when Macy and I are running, you know, we always say, like, what would Kylie do? Like, when we were trying to run, we're like, we're, we're riding the Kitty Trail. We're like, Kylie probably already did this, like, five miles, like, two minutes ago and finished, like, way before us. That's what I want to go with you guys. Please. Uh, I run slow. I run slow. What's slow for you? Eight minutes? No, no. I run, like, 10, 10 30. Oh, okay. Sometimes. Not normal. But, I, okay, I will, though. I will run okay. 10, 10 30. If I'm by myself, I'll usually, like, Close. I'll have to think about it. I'll have to think about Come it. Come on, let me in your club. <laughs> Please. It's not because we don't want you there. It feels exclusive. No. <laughs> it's exclusive for the slow runners. You don't have to apply or something. We need six dates. Okay, this is my favorite part. I'm not going to lie. Dates and that salad. Oh, dates or salad. Have you ever had dates with peanut butter in them? No, no and it's I see everything. I know. They're so good. I'm surprised that I haven't done it, but it's maybe I will. so good. I, do we just chop them up? Like... I think you, because I feel like there's kind of like small there. Okay, big. Keep them big. Like, I actually kind of prefer small, because then you get yeah, a little bit and everybody. Okay, cool. I chopped this very well. To two oh, I didn't even realize that there was actually, I thought this was pitted. It's not. Oh. These are really better. difficult to chop up, by the way. Also, this credit word sucks, but <laughs> right, that is what it is. Do you have any more home renovations on the docket? So, uh, here's the thing about my home renovations. Because I've run out of things to wallpaper, I've had to kind of move on in that aspect. There's literally nothing left that I can wallpaper in this home. I wallpapered closets. So, that is impressive, I yeah, would say. I have to really move on from that. Um, I am going to do a little landscaping fix up in the little patio area. I love. I just added in the dates here and then we're going to do a half cup of chopped almonds. Oh my gosh. Love. The real key though with Honor Bar salads is that everything is so finely chopped. I know. Like it makes it taste so much better. I can't describe it. Oh, 100%. Just us. Okay, so I like grew up, my family was like not healthy at all. Yeah, I don't know okay. My mom like thinks she's winning the house for now, but like I ate like, crustables for every meal. Oh, 100 like, I would come home from school and eat two packets of ramen noodles every yes. single yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. And I like look back and I'm like, I had ramen all the time. Yeah, like that was my meal of choice, 100%. Mm -hmm. But my mom would make <laughs> this casserole and it's literally potato chip casserole. Oh, wait. Ooh, it's so good though. Like, not healthy at, at all, all, but I was like, maybe we should make potato chip casserole. Well, next time we have two. Let's go for a salad. Here's what we're looking like so far. Delicious. Oh, it's looking so good. And honestly, it looks pretty good. Okay, here's the thing that I hate about making salads like I'm making dressing. I know. I'm hate it. Literally, I would just buy it. Oh, we need the Charlotte juice of one lemon. You know what I do want to hear about is your bodybuilding phase or your bodybuilding okay, era. So, like, my bodybuilding era is kind of all of this on. So Kylie, it's not like you, but I was well, I started weightlifting two years ago. Like I do weightlift, but yeah. I just thought it would be funnier to say I was bodybuilding. And that's kind of like how it came about. So it's really just like a bit, but no, I love it. It's kind of fun. It's a lot of sugar in here. That See, this honestly, is what I mean. I love a salad and then here <laughs> I am. This little blender I'll have on my storefront by the way. It's the best blender ever. I've never actually blended into on dressing. No, me neither. I have like that little shake. Actually, thing. one time. One time I have. This is new for me. Like, do we eat this? Turns out so. Mm. Like, it looks it's a little creamy. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it doesn't. It smells like it to me, though. Me. Like, I mean, I could see that being right. That, it, it feels right enough. <laughs> it feels, yeah. yeah. Like, I feel good enough about it. Let's set this aside for now. Because we have that done, we're gonna top it with some goat cheese and the croutons after. Mm -hmm. And we we'll plate it. Let's move on over to our croutons. Okay. This is looking kind of stunning. It yeah, it looks good. Not to brag. Okay, so to make these croutons though, while I'm doing this, by the way, guys, yeah, see. we're just cutting it up. Like I've never actually done it from cornbread, and it's gonna be messy. It doesn't matter. We're gonna toss it with some olive oil. We I guess like tech. I don't know like what seasonings we would do. But um, it's fine that this is becoming. Yeah, it's already like. 
Yeah, Honor Bar is itself. Yes. It doesn't need anything. I would go to Honor Bar every Sunday night in college and because it was in Beverly Hills. And oh, I really? Loved, yes. And I loved Honor Bar so much. I like the kale chicken sa like salad or the yeah. sandwich every single time. Okay, this is embarrassing. I thought Honor Bar was like a. It is only like Dawson. Dallas Island. local. It's only Dawson <laughs> Island. So, but I thought it was like a, a hole in the wall. Not a hole in the wall. Like, yeah, but like it's just a dust. Well, yeah. that's what I pretend that it is. It makes me feel the better. I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like a Dallas thing. You guys, I feel like it, it is. It is. It is. But it was in Beverly Hills first. Oh, I do know that because like this is gonna be really interesting, guys. But we're just gonna like <laughs> the one thing I was like, they just have to be the same size. Here's the thing. I'm in a rush for no reason, and I was ready and I was impatient, so I should have let this cool down a little bit more. That's but okay. honestly, so I would go every single Sunday night, and then when I was like moving back to Dallas, before I had to make some really big life decision, I just like have the same feeling every time. I know it's gonna happen, and then I just like know. I know that I know that I know, whatever. And I was like deciding that day, and I had that same feeling, and I was sitting in the car, and I was so hungry, and I'm like, all right, where am I gonna go? And I was in Highland Park. And I like searched the maps around me for food and it was all bar. And no, I was like, it's a sign. It's a sign. And I literally was like, all right, I'm house. I would take that. No. <laughs> but then it's like this is like, gonna be a little uh interesting, guys. But we've got some in here that are. Okay, good no, I see some great I see some those. great ones in here. Yeah. When I was like back and I was, you know, deciding to stop being our permit and like invest in like all my friendships again, we started going to Honor Bar every Friday night for dinner. So it's like all of my like closest friends in my twenties, like yeah. it all started at Honor Bar. So like, my entire twenties has been spent at Honor Bar. Yeah. And honestly, it's been this salad. So I'm pretty sure I found Honor Bar because of your stories. I'm, I'm not kidding. Kind of here. Okay, so I grew up in McKinney. So did you. We both grew up in McKinney. I grew up in McKinney because it's the best I've ever heard of it. So like, but I would always say Dallas, but like I didn't go to Dallas. Yeah, same. And so when we moved here, I was like, wow, I know nothing. Like I don't know where to go. And you lived here like way before we did, I think. I think like I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Bronson, in, well, Bronson lived in Irving. Which yeah, is that's your right. Yeah, 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 yeah. For a year, so we like right. lived there for a year. Yes, yeah, so when we moved here, I like watched your stuff and I was like, we have to go to Honor Bar. And then everyone started talking about it, you know, like when you Think about something. Yeah, and all of a sudden that's everywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's like you see like a new, a new car you've never seen, and then like yeah. it's the only car you see. There's exactly. a theory with that name that like couldn't tell you. Have no idea what it's. Yeah, I, it's like one of those. It's something psychology. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. So I don't have like an emotional tie to Honor Bar. I just it's your early I'm, days. I'm weirdly I'm obsessed falling. With the salad, though it's like so good. Like. If I meet you, probably within the first few times, I'm gonna tell you like Honor Bar is my favorite restaurant and this salad you have to get it'll change your life. I wish I knew what it looked like. No, I'm a little unsure. <laughs> I'm like this color, but it's like you made it me question things. Have you okay the margaritas from there are so good too? I don't think I've ever had one. We're it's the best margarita does. I Luka. always go after church on a Sunday, so I'm like, not really anymore. I'm like, see, that's the difference between really you. I would. <laughs> I would be getting a margarita. I'm like, I don't really, I don't know. It's, it's not really like a margarita time. Yeah. yeah. No, we go on like Friday night, so it's like the best. best. Perfect. Um, so again, this salad is my personal favorite. It's so good. I've never actually, I think I tried it during COVID, but again, like I said, like I hate making dressing, so. It really just like threw me off. This is some of my friends' favorite too. It's so this, they're both. So yeah, fun. I would say like they're the split between yeah. the two of yeah. favorites. Olive oil, like this is how you know that you're actually an adult. Like olive oil is such a good gift. Like when people give me olive oil, I'm like thinking it's so like a nice olive oil. Yeah. Why is it so expensive? No, I know. Like yeah, half. No, there's half a couple the things I'm wondering why they're so expensive. Things that like I'm uninterested in life are always the most expensive. Of course. Like I have to buy AC repair today. Uninterested and guess what? Expensive. Of course. Of course it is. The AC always goes out at the most expensive no. time. Literally. Like ooh, it's getting hot outside. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> I feel like this is like such a good um, recipe to do. Okay, wait. We're You've playing the dinner done cards, it. guys. Yeah, we're gonna do the questions from the dinner. Can I speak? Yes. The dinner cards. Yes. What is your absolute dream job if money didn't matter? It doesn't matter. Like honestly, this. Like my job or I know, I know that's like a hard question. But if you, if this was like not an option. Oh, so I know. I would best. literally, I would literally carry anyone. Like <laughs> that's what I would want. Actually, I take it back. Like guys, this is not all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> I would carry anyone. 
<laughs> okay, can you see? Uh, no, that's why I'm not Carrie Underwood. Oh. oh, here's the thing about me. Like, I actually do have, like, quite some confidence in, like, my country music career. Okay. Mine is singing. Oh. Like, I could do everything else. You can, like, act the part. Yeah. I can dress up. Yes. Like, I can wear the outfits. I photo shoots. I can do photo shoots. Appearances. Yes. yes. But it's just the singing. <laughs> can you dance? Me. For a uh, country music star, yeah. Uh, sure. Sure. Like sway around a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay. No, I could do it. Like, so it is kind of heartbreaking because that truly is at the end of the day, like I think what I was like meant to do. Yeah. So I that's that. hard. But what about you? I would want to like flip houses. Yeah. Okay. Actually. But like DIY, like learn how to do like. <laughs> this is gonna sound so like, but like learn how to do like plumbing, electrical, like, like, like know how to do everything. Yeah. So okay. So basically a contractor. Yeah. I don't blame you for that. Like that's my mom. Like my mom grew up like the contra like contractor's daughter, and my mom. Yeah. Is like, like I want to flip houses, but like I want to do it in the way that like I marry the guy who does what <laughs> I don't want to do, and yeah. then I do everything that. No, I, I would like. prefer to do like the fun like aesthetic yeah. stuff. But you just like want to know that you. Can't but do I am such a like <sighs> get shit done type of girl. Yeah. Like I hate waiting on people. I do too. So but I'm, like, I I wish I just knew how to do literally everything. I hate waiting, but that's why I like have someone on speed dial for everything. Like, I, it's not, I'm not doing it myself. Like, I would, oh. I, I just like feel like the house is gonna like catch on fire or something. Like, okay, so like, that freaks me out. Oh god. I was hot wiring, which mm -hmm. I sh shouldn't have been doing, but like, I was really? changing out these light switches, which uh -huh. is not hard. Oh, that's not bad. No, I literally almost caught on fire. Like, it had like exploded in my hand, and I was like, no. Oh. Oh. See, that would scar me for life. Like, yeah. I'd, be, I'd be over. Probably not the best. So that's my dream job. This is the honor of our seasoning. Shut That we're up. so obsessed with. And technically, we were not supposed to take it. Okay, sorry. But yeah. no, we literally- It's literally it. off the table. Mm -hmm. And I didn't steal it, my friend did. It wasn't me. But yeah, no, we have it. Wait, I didn't even know they had their own seasoning. Oh, you don't put it on your fries? No. Oh my god, it literally, that's the whole point of honor bar. I thought that was the seasoning. Is it just, just set on the table? Yeah, we like have to, I know you have to ask for it. Oh. My friend, Go and she was kind of trouble you for the seasoning. Your time. Like, you're so polite and like, like give me that seasoning. I'm like, hey y'all, do y'all have the, uh, you know? Yeah. I could see you as a TV host one day. Like I would like, genuinely. I used to want to do more of like hosting of like red carpet when I was younger. Yeah. But now I want to do like hosting of like my own show or like if anything like I look Drew Barrymore show like that mm. would be like the dream. Yeah. Dream. Yeah. But I like like. Like Magnolia, like a Chip and Joe vibe, like I look like HGTV, but like I'm not gonna like do like what you're doing where you're like plumbing. I would, you know, I'd be there for the personality. I'm the personality hire. Yes, you yes, know? yes. Oh, we need mint. Don't worry, I'll go to the garden. Oh, it's my actually gosh. not the garden, it's just on my patio, but I'll bring it. Wait, no, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's literally getting her own mint. From garden to table. It's gonna taste even better. It's gonna taste so much better because you grew that with love. Yes. And also, this is definitely not enough, but I just didn't, I don't know, I can get more, but I don't know. I just probably. No, I think that's great. I got like too excited, you know? Yeah. Or do we need a little? Wow, it's so cute. I feel like it's fun. I mean, it's like straight from the garden. It's straight. Because anyone was wondering where that came from, from the table. Literally. If you could choose between hair stylist, makeup artist, or art chef, what would you pick? Oh, what made me choose? I think I would do hair. Oh, no, that would be my last choice. Oh my god, I hate But I just chopped my hair, so yeah. it literally takes me like five minutes to do. No, it takes me forever. I don't I, wear makeup enough to where I would care about that. You know what I would do instead of... Okay, so I would pick chef. I, I actually think like, what I thought about, like, I the best choice would be chef. Yeah, but I the most bang for your buck. Yes. And, oh... They would cook you things that you'd probably like never even think to cook. Okay, it smells just like the oh, olive oil croutons. Wait, they look so good. No, they would. Wait. It would be healthy without like trying. Yeah. Yeah. And that's like half the battle. It's like. Yeah. So my friends, they had a chef, like all her husband plays football. So like they had a chef. Yeah. And they invited us over. And I was like, I. This is the best thing. This is what I aspire to be. Right. Like this. Have this. No, are you like trying to get Because they were just like. Now? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be a kicker, okay? <laughs> Go try out. Come on, get out there! <laughs> I could probably be the kicker before he could. <laughs> I would pick chef, but if I if I picked makeup, they would have to take it off. See, I don't mind taking makeup off. Like, no, no, no. But no, here's no. the thing: I take my makeup off within seconds. Like, I'm wearing makeup today because we're filming this. Yeah, me too. And I would never know. Like, I don't. I don't wear makeup. Like, I'm so lazy. 
music. I hate putting it on. I don't mind taking it off. It just doesn't get on my face because I'm like, especially when it's hot in Texas, like I just become so mm. miserable. Yeah, it is horrible wearing it outside. So I'm like, I just can't. But taking it off, I just, I wear waterproof mascara and that's literally why. Like, oh my God. Yeah, well, it, no it wonder. Just, it works so, so much better. So much better. So I'm like, but well, honestly, I would hate to know how you make it. Yeah, it's like, horrible. I don't know no, like I last night I literally was like falling asleep and I still had all my makeup on and I was like, what if? What if? What if I just stripped it off? Let's make another card. I'm trying to find a way. Or do you want me to? Oh, I'm just going through. Okay, how do you? Oh, this is a good one for us. How do you measure success? Ooh, it is hard. It's also hard in our jobs not to do it by like numbers because I'm like very yeah. numbers. See, I'm like not, but thank God. Like I would. Yeah, not that, be that's yeah, it gets to me because I'm like. I'm a very like numbers girl. Analytical. Yes, very. And so, and you well, literally. Also, can't. another thing that's worth mentioning, like Kylie's like first YouTube video was like had like a million views, like or something insane. Because yeah. when you start doing like D one, like you had like the college, the D one, the whatever. So like when you start off, like yeah, that's like the dangers of like going viral. Even of like. Mm -hmm. It just it's like, is hard to. There was so much content, like unique content every single day. Yeah. So my day was filled to the brim with like just people telling me what to do, like unique experiences yeah. every single day. So, and I was surrounded by all my teammates. So there's like constant. <laughs> me and Bronson, we call them like like characters. In uh -huh. the yeah. I hate to call them characters, but like they're my friends. But people, yeah, but to other people, they're people like, think they're like characters. And now it's like when you vlog and you're just like at home. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's harder. And it's, it's just a change. Older, like you yeah. want to get more private, so it's like yes. Like when I was younger, I would just like throw anyone on. And I'm like I would never do that now. Oh no. You know, yeah. like ever. I know. No same. Like we have our friends over all the time, and I feel like I barely like, barely vlog yeah. them. So I like love being creative. Mm hmm. And I would say anytime I like create something that I'm proud of that feels like success for me which yeah. is hard because when you vlog you're not always necessarily like proud of all your vlogs yeah. at least i'm not same because they're just like they're day to day like you can't yeah. put so much it's effort. not like you're not like it's not going to sundance you know yeah. Like, yeah. It's, like, it's not like this big film that i produce yes. it's just my life um so it's it's when i produce something that i'm like really proud of i feel like that is like fills my cup or like with healthies, like I design the screens and like that right now is like really filling my cup. So yeah. like designing a bunch. That would be my version of me. A lot of like I can tell like how healthy I am, like mentally and emotionally at that time by like yeah. the health of like my relationships around me. And I feel like that I've noticed even just with, like people that um, people like <laughs> like I just feel like Not you can feel tell about. a lot about someone by the relationships that they have in their life. Yes. So like having really like good relationships with like my friends and family is huge. But as far as like career, by the way, also literally just I ordered it for no, I know myself. But like listen, we're gonna be realistic girlies over here, and that's just like how it goes. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna cut. Do you want me to cut it up more? This one is fine, but maybe okay. for the macho because this one is, a, is typically this like okay. size. Okay. As far as like my career, I measure like success a lot more by like the like community and like the people, not the amount of people there are, but like how dedicated the people are, like building an actual community. Like if you do something, will people show up? If you yes. Come out with something, are people buying it? And not in like a transactional way, just in a way of like have I actually like done something here? Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. that is a lot more important to me because there's also like you know the opposite, like the brand end mm -hmm. of this and. Yeah, yeah. There's people who have like a hundred thousand followers that are outperforming celebrities with 10 million because their audiences are a lot more engaged and like yeah even like with me starting my channel it wasn't to like make money and do all that like I care more about the connection so yeah. for me like I feel like I've actually felt a lot more success that like maybe someone wouldn't even think because yeah. I have that because I'm so like lucky with like my audience when I've grown up with them yeah so I feel like that is more of it but also just like being able to live a life that like I actually enjoy like I'm so lucky to like one but like both of us to like yeah. have a like like provide for yourself. provide for yourself by something that we love to do like yeah. not everyone people don't get to do that like period ever no. you know yeah. so it's like it's i'm very really rare yes no i love that i think that's so true like there's so many influencers who are just just influencers yeah and it's that's great that's fine like it works but at the end of the day like i can't imagine your cup being that full you know what i mean like, i agree like just selling things is like not fulfilling like when when i get like a dm that i'm like changing someone's life yeah like, like that matters
hours. That's crazy. Like that that is insane. I also know? like having like I just personally get so tired of myself. So like having something else to work on besides that has to do with me. Yeah. Even though like obviously I'm like the front facing founder for yeah. more, but like it still is like product and things and like we're I don't know, like being able to like it start to not be so centered around you like I think it can get like so unhealthy so quick. Yeah. Like your merch. Like seeing that on people yeah. that you yeah. have no idea. It's crazy. That feeling is even like, like the awesome. podcast, like the way that like I connect people through the podcast. Yes. Like and even like the people that I've met through it, whether yeah. they're listeners or on the show, like things like that are more fulfilling. So I would definitely say that. I love also, that. that's a great answer. Okay, we have roasted. We have all of this and this, so I feel like that's fine. It just doesn't feel like the peanuts are already in this. It just because like, I think once you toss it, toss it, and then the croutons, you're gonna be like, it's perfect. If you restarted your life from day one, would you still end up here? Ooh, this is like really peanut buttery. <laughs> You're not gonna like it. It gets really peanut buttery. Like, it really is gonna be a uh, peanut. Sad. I forgot about the sausage and the kale, but what does that like right in? It's. Yeah, I want to add more peanuts. I kind of squish it a little bit. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, if I restart my life from day one, I honestly feel like I would, because I feel like so many things happened in my life, like that were so out of my control. Yeah. That pushed me here. Like, I think regardless, I would have played soccer because I played soccer from yeah. like, literally basically day one. And then playing soccer, I tore my knee, which was so out of my control. And then by doing that, I got my fifth year. And then you started your YouTube channel. And then I started my YouTube channel. Well, and then, yeah, yeah. Which, like, not getting into dental school was the best thing that like, ever happened to you. The best thing that ever happened to me, but also such a crazy story because, like, those applications online, like, it takes like months for you to fill them out. Like all summer I worked on it. Like it was just open on my computer constantly. I would go over it, double check, triple check, quadruple check, everything, okay? My like dent pin, which is like my, what, like nine digit whatever that goes to my DAT, which is like the MCAT. I know that thing was right on there because I quadruple checked this application, okay? Wait, it was because of that? It was wrong, by off by one number. I don't know how that happened. So I applied to like 11 dental schools. I only heard back from one. I had like the same test scores, same everything as all my friends. And they all got in like first round. And I was like not hearing anything back, but I was like, I don't want to reach out to these schools because like I don't want to feel like a, yeah. like annoying, like try hard. So I never reached out in February, which is like so late to like hear back from schools. I heard from USC, which is like the third most expensive school in the country. Yeah. For dental school. That's why like they still had spots available. And they were like, hey, we want to offer you an interview, but um, we don't have your test scores. And I was like, what do you mean? You don't have my test scores. Like, what are you talking about? And they were basically like, yeah, you, that's when I checked my pin was like at the end. Turns out it was completely wrong. I basically didn't apply to any schools. Wow. Which I'm like, I'm adding the dressing here, by the way. Oh, yeah. Wait, that, that is crazy. crazy. So I, might, I didn't even realize that part of the story. I know. I haven't really shared like in depth. So it like was a fluke too. Yeah. And that's the only reason I pursued my YouTube channel. Yeah. Like, if I would have gone into dental school, I feel like my YouTube channel probably would have like died out. Like I honestly wouldn't have kept posting because I can't really. Yeah, there's no way. That question is kind of crazy because I'm like, I actually do feel like I would be in the exact same spot. There's a couple things that I wish like... I had like different perspectives on growing up. Yeah. But like I would end up in the same place. And I know myself, like like ideally I'm like, oh it kind of would have been fun if I would like I will sometimes think I'm like, oh what if I going to go to like UT or would have been fun to like go because I don't like where I went to college or get a bad experience. Yeah. So I always am like, oh like maybe that would have been cool. But like I look back at myself at that time in my life and like I would have never I would have never listened to myself. Even if like I right now came back to like 16 year old Kinsey and was like, do this, I wouldn't have listened. Like I was so yeah. dead set. So I would end up exactly where I was because I would just possibly, there's just no way I would, you know, change yeah. my mind. I'm just gonna like throw this in like this. Okay, sounds good to me. I'm just like hoping for the best. I mean, that's pretty much how they do. We're pretty much done. Are you a Swifty? Yes. Are you yeah. not? No, not at all. Kylie! Oh I don't know. God. I don't I know why to, that you weren't. No, I went to Ares three times. Oh. Literally, I went to Ares three times. But, I mean, I one of them I went for, but yeah, I went three times. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing about me, though. Like, I don't post, like, a lot of, like, music and stuff. Like, I oh, really yeah. mainly listen to country. Like, yeah. I, that really is all I listen to. Besides, I love Taylor Swift. Oh, my God. I never knew that about you. It's okay. We can still be friends. Yeah, don't think differently of me. I'm not, like, crazy. I'm not a hater. Yeah, okay. 
Well, that's fine. As long as you're not a hater. I will say I hate the new album. <gasps> oh, it's like my favorite one. Oh. What's your favorite? No. Like, if you had to choose one, though. Her older stuff. Yeah, okay. My favorite is, like, her, like, prime. Like, I'm, like, a basic. See, uh, my favorite is, like, literally, like, debut or, like, no, like, Evermore Folklore now. Like, uh, but I'm so, like... That's like kind of music. Like I like like it's just calming and Yeah, that's true. Also, I'm like so vibe. about her and Travis. Like I am in love. You don't like that, do you? No, 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 no. I'm happy for her. But I'm do you happy think, for her. Do you think they're cringe or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can um, be honest. I don't think they're cringe. You I just, just don't love her. So I'm like, I'm not like shipping them. Done, yeah. You know? See, no, look, I am literally like, the Kelsey brothers, like, I am their number one fan. Like, I've listened oh. to you guys forever. Like, that's a little fun fact about me. I didn't even know they had a podcast. So, like, I didn't oh even really know who he so was. So, the content that I consume is shocking. Like, you would not You're expect all it. I'm all over the place. Like, I love, like, Trisha Paytas. I love Impulsive. I love um, the Kelsey brothers. I, like, there's not a single podcast that Jason Kelsey's been on that I've not listened to. Like, I am diehard Kelsey brothers. Like, I, I don't know what it is about them, but it's so... I think because I just grew up always watching sports with my dad. So like, okay, okay. football in general is very calming to me. Like we, I always say like, we never did like flashcards or like the alphabet or like things that were important. It was like Pittsburgh Steelers, Dallas Cowboys. Like, and I was like three, like it was really intense. Oh my. Yeah. So that was kind of how, like how we were. So I think that's what, what it is about the Kelsey brothers. But with Tra Taylor Travis, I wasn't obsessed at the very beginning. Like I thought there's no way this is like really happening. Yeah. But then I got obsessed. And then yeah. I was like, what, I love it. But it's okay, like, I forgive you. You're so well-rounded. No, people would never guess that. <laughs> like, people would literally not Like, you are like- And I, I mean, I love, like, Theo Vaughn. Oh, and yeah, so funny. But I, then I love, like, H3. Like, I, like, it's, like, so all over the place. But anything that has, like, long-form content, because I live by myself and I live home and I work from home, like, yeah. I just have it on in the background all the time. That's so true. But I am, like, an internet culture girl. Like, I know, I know. Yeah, you for are. someone who's literally a grandma makes grandma content, like, I know what's going on. No, that's honestly crazy. Like, I really, really. I mean, it's crazy, but it's not that crazy. Ooh. They're good. They're not as good. Oh god. And I know what I did wrong. Yeah, I was about to say. I have a I have a theory. <laughs> no. What's your theory? Mine is that I needed to wait for it to be hot. Okay. Yes. I think we need to cut it. Ugh. And then I think you should um like pan sear them. Because yeah, the inside is still soft. It's almost like they like cooked it by itself. Wow, this looks incredible. We really killed this. We really did. Like it looks I'm excited to eat it. Insane. Same. What time is it right now? How long did it take us? 3.48. Maybe this realized it took two hours. I feel like this could could have been like a 20 minute thing. Totally, totally. We just had other things to do. We did, yeah. Yes. Okay. Alright. This tastes us. I'm just gonna have the chicken because that's hollow now. Oh, okay. This doesn't taste the exact same, but it tastes very close to it. Same. Like, it's not exact, but like, it is really close. Like, what are they eating from us there? I don't know. I feel like this is a little more vinaigrette-y. Like, we said it was too creamy, the dressing. Yeah. That's, I'm, I think it's a little more vinaigrette vibe. It but is. Like, honestly, honestly, Kenzie, it's like really close. I'm impressed with how close we got. Look, we killed it. And you know, the more I eat it, the more it tastes like it. The, the second bite, I'm like, it's better. But you couldn't tell me I'm not on a bar right now. <laughs> Close your eyes, mm -hmm. put on some music, have them yell at you a little bit, and look, I'm there. <laughs> no, you're there. Thank you so much for coming on and being my guest. It means a lot. Of course. It was so fun. And I'm so glad we could do the honor bar stuff because honor bar really is truly made me the woman that I am today. Same. It's really like made a significant role in my adult life. No, same. It's so good. I didn't even tell the story about one time. When I was in high school, no, I was in college. When I was in college, I dated this guy, and then I dated his roommate before I dated him. And then I was going to Honor Bar to meet up with boy number two, but boy number one was there, and he was like on a date with another Stop. girl that I knew, but in the booth that we, me and boy number two, sat at every week, and my sister was in town. And like I'm blind, I can't see, so I was like walking, and I look, I like go to the table thinking it's boy number two, and it's no. boy number one, and the girl on a date. But we were being secret, like no one knew at this point, so I was like. Oh my god, and I, well, I just like played it off. I like really good at awkward encounters, and it was funny. <laughs> I literally like, laughed, and I thought it was funny. And then, yeah, um, boy number two came, and there you go. And that was in LA? Mm-hmm. 
my college days. Mm. Right. So a little bit traumatizing. A little, but like honestly, I love an awkward run in. Like I, I live for things like that. I really do. Oh my god, like that gives me like such an adrenaline rush. Like, okay, see that's a really. Oh my god, no, and I'm so good at awkward situations. You would never know I feel awkward. Like I'm so good at it. Now I'm so the opposite. I'm so like you will know immediately. You're gonna be like that girl's a total weirdo, and I'll probably profusely sweat. I should have acted a little weird, given the fact that like I was also like I was like in the wrong here. <laughs> you know, like I should have like. Coco. Okay, well guys, we have to go because Coco is in her stroller. And she would really like attention. Subscribe if you are new here. I'll have all Kylie's stuff linked below. Thank you again of so course. much. Thanks for joining me. Yay! It was so fun. Lights, camera, bitch, smile. Da -da 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 -da. Why? He said, I can do it with a broken heart. Thank you. Thank you. I think, honestly, that's how you should start the show. Lights, camera, bitch, smile. Taylor Swift.